You can purchase extended security updates or ESUs through Azure Arc for your Windows and SQL Server reaching end of support. I'm here with Principal Partner Solutions Architect Dale Kirby. Dale has half a decade of experience working with Azure Arc. Dale, can you show us how to do this actually? Yeah, absolutely. Let me share my screen and I'll show you right in Azure portal just how easy it is to manage your extended security updates for your on-prem machines through Azure Arc. So I'm in the Azure portal right now. I'm on the Azure Arc, you know, in the Azure Arc uh, blade. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and I'll click on right here at the top, extended security updates. Uh, and right away, you'll see that I've got two ESU licenses for Windows Server that are eligible uh, for me to apply to my Arc enabled servers. So what Arc has done here is it's let me take these on-prem servers that are running Windows Server 2012. Uh, it's projected some data about them into Azure, although the server themselves itself stays on premises. And now I'm able to do things like purchase an ESU directly through Azure and then apply it to my eligible Arc enabled Windows Server 2012 servers like you see here. So super easy to really kind of set this up, purchase the license through Azure, apply it and manage it all through Azure, but the resource itself stays on premises. That's amazing. And I see there you have Windows and SQL both Yep, yeah, so we can actually do the same thing with uh, um, with SQL Server 2012, um, that's also end of life. We can also purchase ESUs for that through Azure Arc and apply them. So that's another capability that we have built in. So whether it's Windows Server or Windows Server with SQL Server on top, you're covered from an ESU perspective. Uh, you can manage all of that through Arc and apply and manage those for the on-prem resources. That's great. You can check our manual if you want to see the whole step by step on how to do this. And also you can ask any questions for Dale, leave them in the comments below and you can see the description where we have our blog and our full manual on how to do this. Dale, I'm sure you have more to share about Arc enabled SQL. So we'll do another demo on that. Sounds good. Yep. Looking forward to it.